Especially, how do you think he's handled that? And uh, what, what advice did you give him? Uh, <laughs> Brian, Brian, BB, well, he, he's done a very great job, you know, working on his blitzes and coming off the edge. Um, I kind of was telling him, sometimes he would spin a lot. I kind of was telling him not to spin a lot because, you know, when you spin, you you kind of can't see what's coming on the other side. So I was just trying to tell him to just, you know, use his speed, his athleticism, and just bend the edge because a lot of tackles can't block people with speed. So I was just telling him, you know, just bend the edge and just use your hands more. Hey, Chris, uh, you're in year three in the program now. Where do you think you've improved the most since you got on campus? Um, I've, I've improved in a lot of areas of my game. Um, one of the big things I needed to improve on was playing a run and being able to play the five technique better. And, you know, overall dropping in coverage, uh, pass rushing, just everything, you know. Uh, I had to work on a little bit of everything to, you know, get to where I am now. And I'm still improving and still need to work on a lot of things. How much was Saturday's game a challenge, uh, a challenge to the pride for this defense coming off what happened at Tennessee? Um, it, it definitely was a challenge. We had to get back to the little things, clean up the penalties, um, clean up the mental errors, the missed tackles, and just overall improve as a whole defense. And um, I think we – Kind of did a pretty good job of that. What's your favorite part about playing with Dallas and Will and, and having the three on the field together? Um, it's, it's it's great playing with those guys, being able to, you know, be on the field at, at the same time, at times. And, you know, it's fun. And, you know, we always talk about playing on the field with each other all the time. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a great thing to be out there with those guys. And we just got to continue to get better. And, Play better defense. Chris, Coach Shaven talked after the game about, um, you know, with some guys out on defensive line, you had to play a lot more uh, linebackers up, up front against Mississippi State. Just kind of how challenging was that in preparation of having some of those guys out? And how do you think, um, you know, the outside linebackers, some of the younger guys stepped up along the defensive line? Um, a lot of people have have stepped up. And um, it was it definitely was a challenge to, you know, put people at different positions and whatnot. But overall, you know, we just had to get better and, and, and clean up things on the defense. And that was kind of like the scheme that we wanted to do. You've got a new position coach with Coach Hutzler. Just what's it been like working with him? And I think a lot of guys have talked about the energy he brings. Do you kind of feed off that? Yes, uh, Coach Hutzler, he's a great coach. Uh, he bring, he brung a lot of different type of pass rushing uh, elements. And he has a lot of energy. He's always high on, you know, energy and bring energy to practice, to the game, and everything like that. So he's done a very great job with us, and I appreciate it. In terms of your pass rush skills and the, what coaches brought, is there something new that you've learned from him, or is there something you've improved in your ability to get off the line, get to the quarterback? Uh, you know, we I, I try to take in from everyone, and he's taught us to, you know, finish at the top of the rush, uh, use different moves, be more active with your hands. Um, if you get to the level of the quarterback, throw by or or hand swipe or, you know, turn the speed into power or simply just, like I said, bending the edge and just mixing up moves and stances and whatnot to, you know, keep your pass rushing fresh. Good. All right, Chris. Thanks, Thank you.